This video will cover part 2 of how to solve an integral using four difference method. Again, we will look at how to integrate one problem with each method. Let's try integrating to see which method you like best or which is easiest. First, let's use trigonometric substitution. Let square root of x equal to tangent theta. Then square on each side, x equals 4 tangent squared theta, then derive on each side, dx equals 4 times 2 tangent theta, use the chain rule, times tangent theta prime, then d theta, equals 8 tangent theta, secant squared theta, d theta. And this part, square root of 4 plus x, equals square root of 4 plus x means 4 tangent squared theta. Then you can factor, take out 4, then 1 plus tangent squared theta equals square root of 4 secant squared theta, which is 2 secant theta. Then back to the original, Integral of x equals 4 tangent squared theta, then square root of 4 plus x equals 2 secant theta. dx means this one, 8 tangent theta, secant squared theta, d theta. Equals 4 times 2 times 8 is 64. Then tangent squared theta times tangent theta is tangent cubed theta. Then secant theta times secant squared theta, secant cubed theta, d theta. Then we can rewrite as 64 tangent squared theta, secant squared theta, then tangent theta, secant theta, d theta equals 64, then this one is secant squared theta minus 1, secant squared theta, tangent theta, secant theta, d theta. Now you to use substitution, let u equal secant theta, then du equals secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. Then 64 times secant squared theta means u squared minus 1, then u squared, this part is du. Equals 64, then expand u to the power of 4 minus u squared du integrate u to the power of 5 over 5 minus u cubed over 3 plus c. And we need a common denominator for factoring. So times 3 on each side and times 5 on each side. Then take out u to the power of 3 over 15 then 3 u squared minus 5 plus c. And u was the second theta, then 64 over 15, second theta cubed times 3, second squared theta minus 5 plus c. Now we must return to the original variable x from here. Divide by 2 on each side, square root of x over 2 equals tangent theta. Then draw the right triangle where the respect angle is theta. Then tangent theta is square root of x over 2. Then square root of x and 2 here. Then c squared equals square root of x squared plus 2 squared. c equals square root of x plus 4. 
Then the hypotenuse is square root of 4 plus x. Back to the original, 64 over 15. Then secant cubed is, from here, secant is square root of 4 plus x over 2. Then cubed, 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 over 8. So 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 over 8 times 3 times secant squared. That means square root of 4 plus x over 2 squared, which is 4 plus x over 4. Then 4 plus x over 4 minus 5 plus c. And 8 times 1, 8 times 8, then 8 over 15 times this, 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2. Then this one is 12 plus 3x over 4 minus 5, which is 20 over 4 plus c equals 8 over 15, 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2, then 3x, 12 minus 20 is minus 8 over 4, then the final answer is 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 2 over 15, 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2, times 3x minus 8, plus c. This time, we are going to use u substitution. Let u equal 4 plus x, derive on each side, and from here, move 4 to the left, u minus 4 equals x. Then back to the original, integral of x equals u minus 4, then square root of u, then dx equals du, equals make the power form u minus 4 times u to the power of 1 over 2, du, then expand u to the power of 3 over 2 minus 4 u to the power of 1 over 2, du. Integrate using the power rule, u to the power of 5 over 2, then the reciprocal number, which is 2 over 5 minus 4, u to the power of 3 over 2, then make upside down 2 over 3 plus c. That means 2 over 5, u to the power of 5 over 2 minus 8 over 3, u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Make the same denominator, which is 15. So times 3 on each side, times 5 on each side. Then we can rewrite as 2 over 15 times 3, u to the power of 3 over 2 times u to the power of 1 minus 40 over 15, we can rewrite as 2 over 15 times 20, then times u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Then take 2 over 15 u to the power of 3 over 2, which is the greatest common factor, then 3u minus 20 plus c. Then 2 over 15, u, which is 4 plus x, to the power of 3 over 2, times 3 times u, minus 20, plus c. The final answer is 2 over 15 times 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2, 
The inside of the bracket is 12 plus 3x minus 20, which is 3x minus 8 plus 6. We will use u substitution again this time, but let's say u equals square root of 4 plus x. Compare with the u substitution used in the second method. From here, square on each side, 4 plus x, then derive on each side, 2u du equals dx, and then from here, minus 4 on each side, u squared minus 4 equals x. Then back to the original, integral of x means u squared minus 4, square root of 4 plus x equals u, then dx equals 2u du, equals 2 moves here, then integral of u squared, expand, u to the power of 4, minus 4u squared, then du, equals 2, integrate, u to the power of 5 over 5, minus 4, u cubed over 3, plus c. We can rewrite it with a common denominator of 15, so times 3 on each side, then times 5 on each side, then 2 times 3, u to the power of 5, over 15, minus 20 u cubed over 15 plus c equals 2 times take out the common factor which is u cubed over 15 then 3 u squared minus 20 plus c then 2 over 15 u was square root of 4 plus x cubed, then 3 times u squared, which is 4 plus x minus 20 plus c, which is 2 over 15, times 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2, then inside of the bracket is 12, plus 3x minus 20, which is 3x minus 8, plus c. This is the last one. Use the integration by part. We already knew this one. Let u equal x, then dv is square root of 4 plus x dx. From here, derive on each side du equals dx. In order to find b, we have to do the integration. b equal integral of square root of 4 plus x dx. Make the power form. 4 plus x to the power of 1 over 2 dx. Here, the coefficient of x is 1. So x plus 4 can be directly integrated just like x. You don't have to use a substitution. Then 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2. Then we need a reciprocal number of this, which is upside down, plus c. Then d equals 2 over 3, 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2. Use the bipart formula. Integral of u dv equals u b minus integral of b du. Then back to the original, u times b means x times b, which is 2 over 3, 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2, minus integral of b du, b Then du is dx. Then simplify 
2x over 3 times 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 2 over 3 then integrate 4 plus x to the power of 5 over 2 then make upside down plus c it looks different from the three answers already integrated earlier but that changes some we need a common denominator which is 15 times 5 on each side then we can rewrite as 2 over 15 times 5 x 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 2 over 15 times 2 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 times 4 plus x to the power of 1 plus c then take out the common factor which is 2 over 15 times this part 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 then 5x minus 2 times 4 plus x plus c equals 2 over 15 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 then 5x expand minus 8 minus 2x plus c then final answer is 2 over 15 4 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 then 3x minus 8 plus c i hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comment below thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more